Are you ready for a world record? It's the Speedrun Showcase with your hosts, Matt Richards and Sam Bailey. Yes! <laughs> hello! Hello, hello, hello. Um, that music came in hot, didn't it? <laughs> Woohoo! Unexpected. Still on edge after the dark room experience that we all survived <laughs> through. Uh, amazing! Right, it is our first proper slot, I guess. Hello, of we're back. The main stage, uh, and we have got a speedrun showcase for you guys. So, we are going to be bringing out some wonderful guests who are going to talk us through exactly what is speedrunning. Because we don't know. Because we haven't got a clue. Yeah, mums and dads, if you sat there going, I literally have no idea what that is, that's us. We are mums and dads in this situation. Uh, but they're going to be playing a, a an old school game of sorts uh, and be aiming to break some records yeah. live on stage. We're going to have a quick chat with them all the way through as well. Uh, it's going to be a quick slot, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> Speed is of the essence. Speed is of the essence, but we're going to have a load of fun. So, I think, Sam, it's time to welcome on our guests. Let's do it. Uh, so how about giving a round of applause for Matt, Ben and Reese from UK SM. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Good. Yeah, good, good. It's been all of one minute um, behind that, <laughs> that curtain there. Uh, look, we're excited to have you here this weekend. It's the first time we've ever had anything like this on the main stage. So, Matt, what is our audience going to be expecting here on this slot? Video games. Bam, there it is. Straight <laughs> in. Love it. And they're going to be really fast. Really fast. Yeah. Okay, so the, the, the essence of, of, of speed running is obviously not to go around sort of taking your time. It is finding the quickest route. The quickest route possible. Awesome. Do we know... I'm out. This might be a question for Reese, who's going to be maybe, at the yeah, maybe. Of the control. Do we know if there is a current record on Super Monkey Ball? Right. So the current record for the category I'm going to be running today is 23.02. Oh, that's Ooh, fast. Oh, that is actually quick. Yeah. Um, uh, and at each level, how many seconds are you realistically are you going to be able to spend time to get to? We want to, so during the game, we want to aim for stages under 10 seconds. Whew. So. Some of them will be done in like two seconds, some maybe nine, pushing the limit, but uh, yeah. So no time to appreciate the scenery, no time to no. appreciate the graphics, no, no time to collect <laughs> bonus things, it's straight in. To put this in context, I mentioned it this morning, it's taken me 15 years to complete Time Crisis <laughs> 2, and I did it the other day, yeah. so don't worry, even if it's an hour long, you're still <laughs> doing better than me. All right, so uh, Reese, if you want to come and take a seat, oh. um, Matt and Ben makes it all comfortable as well. Um, and we're going to be getting started on, on our first stage. So um, we ran a VT this morning, you give everyone a little bit of a taster. And part of that VT was you held an event last year, which was a speedrun marathon. Yeah, we, uh, well, we've done it for the past two years, actually. We've done it in 2017 and 2018. The first one was at uh, Colchester, the lovely gaming arcade place. Uh, we managed to raise over £1,000 for special effects. That's amazing. And then the second one was hosted by Jinx TV. Uh, TV oh, right. Yeah, TV studio in London. It's great. And then we managed to like raise like £1,500 for special effect. That's amazing. Genuinely, we love special effect. They've been a partner of our event for so, so long. And it's a great course. Uh, course? Course? That's all the word, yeah. course. Uh, got confused. <laughs> right. Who are we going to select? Is, it, uh, is there well, a strategy to who you're going to select as well? During story mode, you can only pick one character, unfortunately. Um, but just a quick general overhaul of Monkey Boy itself. Um, picking characters, it doesn't matter which one you do, it's all about the aesthetic. So they all play the same, they have no special abilities, it's the exact same thing. It's just the way the monkey looks in the ball. But we're going to be playing the main character, Ai Ai. Um, he's a good little little monkey, maybe. <laughs> I'm a I mean, hopefully he's a good little monkey for you today. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so we'll just get straight into this, is it? Sweet, so are we feeling we're going to break a record today? That's no. two people. Two people, that two is people. two people. <laughs> two That's the <laughs> level of confidence that we are looking we need, for. We need a little bit more, you know, we need some confidence now. Do we think we're going to break a record today? Seven people think you're going to break a record now. We're up from two to seven. How can you tell you're in the West Midlands? <laughs> Optimism. <laughs> yeah, come on, Bob. Try and impress me. Right. Right, we've got a nice name, like I, um, it on brand. I'm ready to go whenever you guys are ready. Okay. So. We're ready when you are. Um, do you guys want to give me a countdown from five? Yeah, we can give a countdown from five. Here we go. Five. 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 Right. Five. Right. 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 Okay. Five, five four, four, three, two, two one. one. Let's go. Right, so this is Super Monkey Ball Deluxe Story Mode Any Percent. I thought it crashed for a second then, but it's, it's fine. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> no crash. Right, so. Um, the general gist of this game is during the story mode, we play 10 levels each in each world. Um, 
The, this game is a mixture of Super Monkey Ball 1 and Super Monkey Ball 2, and there was meant to be a planned Super Monkey Ball 3, um, but they never got around to making that game, so instead they threw Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2 together, and also the stages from the, the planned th third game, and just chucked it into the locks. So this is kind of a massive mashup of um, the Super Monkey Ball saga, pretty much. So, World 1 is pretty basic. We've got some, some decently basic strats, nothing too hard at the moment. Um, you'll, you'll notice wow. that I'm kind of... Oh, I have menued the wrong way. Oof. Um, right, so... Oh, that's a texture glitch as well. Awesome. That's great. So, this game gets a little bit confused sometimes. Um, it originally came out for the Xbox original, but was backwards compatible for um, Xbox 360. And sometimes the textures like to get a little bit confused, so I really hope they happen a little bit more during during the run. Uh, I'm not too sure is that going to... No, that won't make it. So um, this strat, we need to build up a little bit of speed before we hit like the, the second ramp. And yeah, there we go. So... Wow. <laughs> um, wow. <laughs> yeah. Do you do everything in life this fast? Because, um, <laughs> I mean, you've maybe? got so many career options if you can. <laughs> So uh, uh, don't look at that. That will just um, chucks us into mid-air. I really don't know how that strat works. It just does. <laughs> so we'll take it. That's that's pretty much the speed run gist. Um, so yeah, that this is this as as I said, pretty basic. Um, you'll see that I'm restarting the stage every time, and also hitting stage select when I go through the gold tape. This cuts out the loading time. So as you can see, the stage spins in like that. But if right. we hit restart. It, um, it, it spins up a lot faster. And also hitting stage select, we can skip the replay. So there's normally like a replay that would play there, but we can just skip it, and it completes the stage. We do have to be careful, though, because if we hit it on the first frame, the game won't register that we've actually broken the tape, and it will ask us to redo the stage. And obviously, that's slow. If, if you're just uh, if you're looking <laughs> confused, we are too. It's, it's so fast. I, I can barely remember what slots we have. We have four <laughs> slots a day. Yeah. And Reese has just completed about five or six stages. Yeah, so in seconds. That's, that's, that's World 1 done. So that's World 1 of 10 done. Oh, round of applause. Uh, yeah, World round one. of applause. <laughs> Super fast. So, I mean, have we got enough time? I've got an unofficial spot? timer going, <laughs> and it's around about, we're coming up to about three minutes now. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so World 2, it kind of, uh, it slightly picks up the difficulty. We start seeing advanced oh. levels from the uh, game's challenge mode, so. But there's, there's still a mix of um, beginner levels from, from the beginning of the game. So within the, in the speedrun community, is it uh, very common to have sort of classic games because you know the sort of layouts of the maps better, or? Well, so with anything, anything in the speedrunning game, with any game, it can be done with literally any game that you want. I mean, ironically, even though there's no speedrunning, it actually takes quite a bit of time to get an understanding of the mechanics and also glitches within certain games that you can actually exploit to further along your own speed route. So it's just a case of just taking your time, just pick a game that you enjoy playing and go for broke. I mean, because the game always comes to mind with speedrun for me because it's a game that haunted my childhood is uh, Super Mario 64. And it's like a classic, and, and again, another game that took me probably 10 years to complete, and then you go on YouTube and it's just like, done! And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. It's, it's, it's great. We, you guys are going to be on stage every day. We've got a few more different games coming up. Yeah, well, I'm going to be on stage every day. Ah. Um, yeah, I like the stage. The you're, stage. The, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, the, you're the one in charge, Matt. They're like, yep, we get Matt involved. <laughs> um, so, tomorrow we've got a Sonic Adventure 2 run, yeah. I believe. Um, the day after that, we've got Sonic Adventure. No, we've got. It's kind of like a Mario, not spin-off, more rip-off. Uh, it's called Alex Kid. Yeah. Um, and I believe it was literally like Sega's answer to Super Mario. And then the final day, I believe we've got another Sonic run, which is Sonic Adventure DX. So games that focus on going fast. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's the sort of thing you'd look for. Is Sonic 2 the one with a really like? Cool start where you're on like a snowboard, surfboard thing going down the road. Might uh, that's be? somewhere in the middle of Sonic Three. We're gonna find out oh, tomorrow. Sonic. That is, I had a Dreamcast. Yes, they were a thing that existed, <laughs> and that was my that was my jam that game. That and Crazy Taxi. A Dreamcast for anyone under the age of ten. It was a video games console <laughs> that used uh, CD-ROMs to uh, load in games. Believe it or not, What's a CD? it was one of the first consoles <laughs> that had internet access. CD. Right? Oh. 
Boof. Not only that, but you can take it away with you. You can have a mini game that you can take. Yeah. yeah. Like a Tamagotchi. Oh, no, I see. Oh, a 90s reference. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not okay, how that was. That was no, far that, too long. You said far was... too long without <laughs> nine seconds. How can you take nine seconds? That, that no, was... no one noticed you. <laughs> That was not how that was meant to go, but uh, we'll run with that. So how many worlds are there in story mode? So in story mode, there is 10 worlds that consist of, in general, 200 stages overall, because there's 20 stages in each world. To complete story mode any percent, we just need to complete 10. So we can pick any 10 from the available 20 in each world. Um, and as I, as I mentioned, we pick the, the 10 faster stages. So we do have to do a bit of routing. Um, and if I have time at the end, I'll go through the routing a little bit more slowly. So it's because I, I, I know it's quite fast and it's, it's coming up. But um, Th thanks. <laughs> we will need it more than anyone else. Right. <laughs> I'm going to try and hit our first pause frame strat, and I'm hoping to. Okay. Right. I hit 85. So um, I, I'm I'm determined to get this one. So no. Okay. Right. We'll just go for the. Oh no. <laughs> It's going horribly wrong here, right? One more time. Okay, right, missed it. So the strat there is the, if you look at the timer, you've got the nanoseconds underneath the big clock. These are most accurate to the frames in the game. So we use right. pause straps, pause straps? Um, pause strats to basically get the, con the most consistent movement. So. If we input the exact same movement on these frames, we're going to get the exact same result of getting into the goal. So that stage that we just did, and I unfortunately didn't get the frame on, uh, what happens is that the goal is spinning so fast, it doesn't recognize that there's a goal post that does have collision with it, right. but it just doesn't recognize it's there. So if you get 5886 and then hold upright, you can just clip straight through the tape. Um, oh. And that saves about two seconds. Uh, overdoing it the way we did. Both of the strats on that stage are, are fairly impressive. You just get smashed into the goal. So, but um, <laughs> clearly a skill round. As a <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of the high-end tier players of this game, their poor strats are absolutely ridiculous. There's a strat on a stage called Curve Bridge, which is a nine perfect frame poor strat. So you have to pause and hit the frames nine times and there, there is no backups, and you have to get all the movement correctly. Um, I wasn't able to, unfortunately, showcase it or get a recording. That's also a glitch goal, so thanks for that game. Uh, glitch goals, pretty much you go through the goal, like out the back, but you can actually sometimes, if the party ball hits you, you can, um, you can come like through the front of the goal, which is quite interesting. Um, I'm also going to try and that this one's going to be very interesting. I hope to get this like within five tries. Um, <laughs> something you don't normally hear. So within this speedrunning community, do you guys tend to stick to one game, or do you sort of have transferable skills across the board? Um, that's literally just a case of preference from runner to runner. Um, obviously, each game has their own different um, style or mechanics or gameplay formation. So it's just whatever takes your interest, and if you choose to expand upon either going on to another game or even doing multiple categories within the same game is literally just runner's preference and how much they're willing to put into it. That's my, yeah, that's it. Nice. Okay. okay. That strat is really oh, difficult. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's good. It's, it's, it's very, very movement heavy for that strat. And as you can see, it, it does take quite a while to get that. Um, that was also too soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These three stages I like to call the Holy Trinity. Uh, if I hit them first try with no deaths or retries, we're pretty much golden. But uh, So haven't. not golden today, then? Not, no, no gold splits today, but... <laughs> Still pretty, uh, pretty quick. Yeah. No, that's a decent time so far. So that's three worlds down. We're moving oh, on to world oh, four. Right. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, time of the clock in a minute is currently nine and a half minutes-ish. Right. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm sure the developers will be really happy to watch someone completely in. <laughs> <laughs> maps and just go completely in like this. But is that something that's happened now? Because obviously the speedrunning community is getting a lot bigger. I mean, it, it, any community gets bigger if I've heard of it. So is there something now that the developers are, are starting to uh, tailor games towards or put little bits in the newer games? Um, it can happen, yeah, actually. Um, there was an indie game released um, not too long ago, uh, I can't remember when, what year it was, actually called Celeste. And that's literally been created and developed by 
fellow fans of speedrunning, so they intentionally designed the levels to cater to that aspect. And uh, some of the stuff you could do in that game is absolutely mental, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. I don't know. Crazy. <laughs> Celeste is a pretty good game. It's a bit hard, but... <laughs> Yeah, we, I, think, I think that's one of the most interesting things when we do this sort of event that, that all the little micro communities within one big community, obviously you've got things like esports and then you've got games that are more preference towards streaming or making content and obviously now with, with you guys this, this is starting to really become like a big thing. And I, I think it's, uh, you guys got a stand here this weekend, yes, right? Yes we do, uh, it's just right opposite the retro zone. That is a great place to have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I must admit, we, 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 uh, we filmed a video walk around yesterday, uh, and the urge to just play everything in the retro zone was incredibly good. Again, it wouldn't be this quick, uh, but. <laughs> right, so we've got a stage coming up now. Uh, and I can hit this track quite a fair time, so I hope this, this one's going to be a really you good put one. put loads of pressure on yourself, because you definitely just told the audience. <laughs> oh, no, I can, I can hit this. I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm going to I'm gonna show myself First up. Try. But, uh. There we go, right, and in the goal. Oh, oh my days! <laughs> so <laughs> that pause strat is, uh, is really good. So pretty much what happens there is if we pause at 54.51 or 54.50, we can hold back left after we've unpaused and just go straight into the goal. That is the most hated stage, though, for any, okay, uh, any person who's played Super Monkey Ball 2 or Deluxe. They never like Arthropod, and I just made it look really, really easy. So <laughs> it's going to look amazing when we make a highlight package of this slot. Yeah. It's going to be there out in the ether forever. Right. In just that moment, just yeah. that clip, <laughs> we'll make it. So we, there we go. Right. Yep. That stage is moving pretty fast, as you can probably tell. Um, and there's a sp specific setup you have to do for that. You have to make like a backward S movement in order to weave in and out of the comb. Um, but yeah, no, that's a pretty interesting one. So we're coming up to this stage. This is, a, this is a good little stage. I'm just going to restart and hold up. So, how's it going, guys? Yeah, yeah, no, it's you, good. You're yeah. doing good? Yes, how do you think the run's going so far? Um, to be honest, I really don't know. I think don't know? It's going I right, think you're doing. I think you're doing pretty well. Oh, he's on the get. I don't, you the don't need to. Uh, I think that's our first <laughs> no-look stage. Round <laughs> yeah. of applause, by the way. <laughs> right. I've, so. never, I've never seen anyone look so confident and calm at yeah, the same time. Yeah, got this, man. Don't yeah. worry about it. Right, so, so uh, how many hours I, I feel, I, I feel oh, like it's oh, an oh. ironic word to use, but how many hours of, of, of prep and training do you guys go through? Um, well, I've been playing this game since I was little, really. I'm turning around saying like seven years. Um, I, I kind of grew up on Monkey Ball, and I never really thought about speedrunning it until I saw a streamer named Jeff. He's a really, really good, awesome Super Monkey Ball 2 streamer, really, really talented. Um, and he got me into speedrunning the Super Monkey Ball series in 2016, I want to turn around and say. And ever since then, I'm going to turn around and say I've probably racked about 1,500, 2,000 hours playing Oof. this category alone. So S suddenly I don't feel so guilty about all the uh, football manager hours. Yeah. So anyone who thinks they're a real pro at Fortnite, if they can log in that many hours <laughs> now, <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know what you're talking about. So. <laughs> oh, that menuing was weird. Okay. So let me just say so. So if I hit the wrong stage, I'm gonna I'm gonna back out and just go to the uh, to the stage I was meant to hit. Sometimes the controller can be a bit funny. Um, you can actually menu to the next stage as soon as you see the ball color. So if you'll you'll see in a minute, you'll see the ball color come up. So that orange, I can menu straight to the next stage. Oh, this is this is um. My controller is not enjoying this. There we go. Right, we're back on track now. Let's go. That's <laughs> 14 minutes now. Right. But yeah, the, re the rest of World 5 is decently easy. There's another really interesting stage, 518, that's coming up shortly. Um, that looks really intimidating, really big. I do it in like two seconds, so it's, it's quite fun. Um, we're also just going to pop that. There, there we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no point of an obstacle course there. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just like defeat the whole point of it, so it's fine. The bit you can't see, Reese, is that me and Sam are Casey are just open mouth, just going, <laughs> ow! It, it kind of makes anyone else playing this game redundant. It does, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does. I'm glad it's an old game that's. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to play it if I couldn't do this. Yeah, we have. Um, there's, there's a load of new runners that come into the game, but 
the reason why I would recommend this game to anyone that's like wanting a bull type speedrunning game is it's so easy. There's no RNG elements. There's there's nothing there's nothing too technical. It's just learning strats at your own pace. And there we go. Um, that 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 was 518. Very quick. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's like this this game is very easy to pick up. Anyone can speedrun it. It takes time to learn the strats, um, obviously. But once you un have a general understanding of how the strat works and the movement for it, you can breeze through the stages pretty easily, and you'll be surprised of how quickly you'll see improvement. Um, so here we're just going to hold back and just drop off the stage. Hit the there we go. Just do that. So normally that stage we have to chase the goal. The reason why the stage is called Chaser. Um, I didn't see where the goal was. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's a there's different colored goals in this game. Uh, in story mode, these goals do not matter. Uh, we can take any colored goal we want, but in the challenge mode run of the game, the blue goals will take you to the next stage. Green goals will take you to one stage ahead. So if I was on stage 14, I would go to stage 16, so I'd miss 15. Um, and red goals, which are conveniently the hardest ones to hit in the game, they will jump you two stages ahead. So if I was on 14, I would skip 15, 16, and land on 17. Right. Um, in ultimate mode, which is a combination of every single level in the entire game, there's two instances where we actually take the green goal over the red goal, but most of the time we want to take the red goal uh, because it's, the, it's fastest, it's skipping stages we don't want to do, so <laughs> no one's going to really complain about that. <laughs> so next world coming up is World 7. It's my least favorite world. I do not like it. It's awful. <laughs> I'm hoping to get through it decently well. We've got confidence. Trust me, you've installed confidence yeah. in pretty much everyone here. <laughs> it's some of the, I don't know why, but it's like, it was the same for Super Monkey Ball 2. Even with Deluxe and the choice of an extra 10 levels, um, they still somehow managed to make World 7 and 8 absolutely awful strat-wise. Um, it puts the hardest strats into those two worlds combined. But um, after World 8, it should be golden. We should be uh, pretty set. And then this thing is spreading around pretty fast, and we're just going to, oh, 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 there we go. Just yeah. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> the thing is spinning so fast you can miss it sometimes. It's almost like he looked like he almost struggled for about a millisecond. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, that, well, that's that stage done. Um, I don't really know what to commentate on that stage. It's done so quickly. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's. I think that's a tied world record. Might be the tied world record for that. The um, IL for that stage uh, requires you to get the banana, but you most most of the time you'll end up chipping off the platform. But if you hit no collision, you'll actually um, you'll you'll just swerve straight into the goal and get a 36, I believe, which is the IL time for it. So you've seen me pause buffer to get strats, but I also do pause buffering to keep myself on the stage. Um, this is just security reasons, to be honest. There's, a good couple of stages like that where it's like really, really thin wiring, um, probably the length of like a fingernail thin, and you just want to pause buffer all over it to make sure you actually stay in it. It's just so I can do um, frame perfect input so I can stay on the stage more. I was going to make a main stage joke about you being like real safe with it, but that was, yeah. Well, that's was, the wrong stage, no. Not more, exam stage. Much more eloquently put by him there. That was a He's been a better host yeah. and a better speedrunner than both of yeah. us combined. Yeah. On, on World 7 already, and this, you said this is the one that you really This is the really one hate. I really hate, so, um, th th yeah, this is, this, no. <laughs> I mean, I can see why, yeah. Yeah, the, the washing machine in the background is, oh, thanks, Cold Post. The washing machine in the background is very distracting. <laughs> I don't know why there's a washing machine in the middle of a back garden, but we'll go with it, we'll, we'll roll with it. I'm sure there's an amazing backstory to the Super Monkey Ball universe that is... Oh, yeah. No, well, the story for this game is that there's an evil baboon called Dr. Baboon, and he's kidnapped all of the bananas from the monkeys and turned them into curry. So that's the best story plot of the game, to be honest. I'm sold. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. That sounds like an amazing plot. And people asked, you know, why Angry Birds were really wanting aggressively against pink, uh, green pigs. You know, this is... <laughs> That story arc's terrible compared to this one. <laughs> right, this one is... Uh, right, so this stage is full of bumpers. We touch these, we're going to go flying off the stage. So this is a very... Oh, well, that was easy. That's yeah, a very... That, I mean, that deserves a round of applause. <laughs> 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 I 
Honestly, I was messing that so much in practice. I was like, I died seven times in a row to that. So my hands. I've got sweaty palms. Why have you got sweaty palms? Because, because I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm invested. I'm nervous. Oh, 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 oh. oh. That's a shame. So um, this stage, it requires you to go to the middle and kind of spiral down. But we can actually just hit that or like get into that window and just get to the bottom of the platform and through the goal like that. Just like that, yeah. Really easy. Try that at home when you get home, guys. Just uh, <laughs> casually. Might take a few attempts, but we'll, <laughs> yeah, we'll get it down. <laughs> uh, this is actually another hold up stage, but if you if you do that movement at the beginning, you can actually do that a lot faster. It's a few frames faster, but it's it saves just a little bit of time, just a little bit. It's coming up to 21 minutes right. gone. Uh, do, you, do you guys mind if I just take a quick nap? I'm I'm really tired. I didn't sleep very well, so I'm, I'm just okay, just gonna. I hate it no, when he does this in the middle. No, no, no chance. No chance. Freaks me out. Try, no, no chance. Try, try to put on a show and he just takes Definitely get there. Like, oh, he just falls ah, asleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, damn. Well, I'm so sorry. You're, like you're, a freak. Oh. you're ready? No scope. Yeah, yeah, no. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. You feel sorry. nice and refreshed now. I, I feel, yeah, no. Yeah. I, feel, I feel a little bit refreshed. <laughs> Had like, what, four hours sleep last night? I'm not sure what we're here to talk about at this point. I, I mean, I mean, yeah, we're, we're very rarely lost for words, but... Um, <laughs> so you, you mentioned that you've been doing uh, the speedrun marathon. Are you doing it again this year? Uh, yeah, we've actually got an event in EGX coming up. Okay, cool. Well, uh, in London in October. Yeah. Um, it's going to be very similar to what we're doing here. We've got a booth, we've got a stage. Cool. We're just going to be showing runs to the community. We really want to help get speedrunning out into the UK. It's really big in America. It's really big in Europe. Yeah. Before UKSM came along two, three years ago, yeah. there was nothing here for us. All right, that's cool. Now there is. Yeah, now, now we're here on the main stage, getting it out there, getting the word out there. We like that. And again, you're being very modest, but you obviously created UKSM. You I didn't mean, want to do a humble brag there. I but, uh, mean. Speed running in the UK is pretty much responsible for you right now. Well, uh, there are other events out there. There's UKSG out up in uh, Scotland. Uh, they operate out of Glasgow. Um, the Warwick University ha have had their own speedrunning marathon for a while, but they've already, always kept it private into the university themselves. They only like opened it up this year to the rest of everyone else. Yeah, they're not on a main stage uh, hyping up, <laughs> uh, to showing off a, a record attempt on a main Yeah, so, you know. A couple of weeks ago as well, we had Quickcade in uh, London, which was another speedrunning marathon run by a lot of the guys that have oh. come to our events in the past. So it's really been blowing up over the past uh, couple of years. I was... I know, I would say, like, I hope it's a long, you know, blow, but by this point, it'll be over by the end of the, <laughs> end of the month, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're saving that one, haven't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, it, yeah, was, yeah, it, was, yeah. it was ticking over here. It's the dad joke. Oh. So, uh, this is World 8 so far. It, this, this world's music has, it's probably my favorite out of the 10 worlds. It's a really good one. You have time uh, to listen to the music. Oh. <laughs> Not that one. Ready? Oh, it's like the 90s all over again. It's like the Hacienda, come on! Um, Stop it. Stop it. You're having too much fun back there. The <laughs> so yeah, um, you'll hear like the, the stage music briefly throughout the run. If you're in a challenge <laughs> mode to run, it continues over each and every stage, but there's obviously the main music menu, which kind of ruins it, so it's unfortunate. <laughs> we hear the same eight, ten seconds uh, everyone's, every everyone's a critic. time. Yeah. <laughs> But I can imagine that's the sort of thing that just gets embedded into yeah. your brain. Oh, yeah, no, I, I barely even hear the music anymore at this point. <laughs> I've, I've, either, I've either got the audio off, I'm playing my own, like, you know, lo-fi chill music in the background whilst I'm streaming, or just play it in silence. <laughs> it's gotten to the point where I don't really need sound to play, but... So we have the moments where, we're like, if we have a hype video that has a certain song, you'll be sat at home having a brew, and then a song will play that's on the same advert, and you start getting really anxious about going on stage, and it's like, oh, because it just you spend like four days with that song just getting pumped into your brain, and it, there's you literally putting hours and hours and hours into the, the, this stage over and over again. There we go. Yeah, that's one of them. Um, Right, so I just did a strat there. I paused at 58.86, and after I undid it, I hold upright, and that just chucks me towards the goal. I don't want to say very nice advertising there by a certain brand. Yeah, this but I mean, it didn't <laughs> work very well for a minute, so... Uh... <laughs> got, got to throw the Sega logo in there. So uh, this is actually a very nice stage. This is a stage from Super Monkey Ball 1. Um, if you played the original, you would, have, uh, you would have seen this. Stage 21, I believe this is in uh, oh, Super Monkey Ball 1 Wikipedia expert. And a knowledge as well. I know, right? Right, so that's what that's seven and eight. That's done. I'm I'm chilling. We have now. just hit 25 <laughs> minutes. Oh, 25 minutes. So we are, minutes, we are right. we're close. We're, we're close. We're through the two tricky stages. Yeah. 
Right, so this is World 9. You're going to experience a little bit of lag through some stages. Um, the stages that we play are the fastest, but the just serial jump into that. Um, the stages we play in this are the, are the fastest possible, but they have a reflective surface on them. And because this is backwards compatible from the Xbox original, it didn't carry over too well. So it actually has a little bit of lag on it. But we, we can still pull some stuff off. Uh, that's also the wrong stage. Don't want to do that one. That one takes um, 15 to 20 seconds to do that one. Yeah, it's far too long. Yeah, no, we, we want to avoid that long. one. Um, but yeah. I remember when 15 seconds wasn't a long time. I didn't think, uh, think 15 seconds or a minute was a very long time until I started speedrunning, to be <laughs> honest. And then I was like, oh, all the seconds count. Yeah, take note, YouTube, your 15 second non skippable adverts. Yeah, you just get upset over oh. two frames. Put those guns away, Matt. All right, put those guns <laughs> away. All right, so I hope I don't die on this one. This, one's a, this is a very interesting stage. So we, the, uh, something I forgot to mention is that you'll see, you've been seeing me wall boost. This is to pick up speed. So. Oh, wow. OK. Ooh. Right, that's, that's fine. Um, too much speed. Yeah, too, a little bit too much speed. Uh, this, this helps me just pick up speed so I can actually go a little bit more faster. And it, is able, it, it makes it so certain strats are, are actually doable. Because if you don't have enough speed, then you'll end up failing some strats. Uh, but there's also another thing in this game, which is collision. Uh, collision detection is lovely. It's, it's amazing. It's really not. Um, the collision, as far as we know, is based on the frames in the game. And some, there, are frame, there are like certain frames that the collision isn't detected on. And if you go through an object on that frame, you're just going to go straight through it. Um, so when you expect collision to be there, you'll sometimes get a surprise that's like, oh, OK, we'll just, we'll just go straight through it instead. That's fine. Um, so air hockey is a pretty nice one. This one took me a very long time to figure out until I learned this. Oh, that's done. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just learn this. Curse to the commentator. <laughs> it's that stage when you first play Monkey Ball, it's, it's very tedious. It's like you need to know where it's going to go in order to get to it, and you need to know its position. But the way you actually beat that really quickly is if you just hold up, and then as soon as you touch the platform after the starting platform, let go, just hold to neutral, the just goal Just going to go and get a pen and pad for that, because I actually Yeah, yeah, make, 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 make your notes, mate. Yeah. You've only got 10 seconds to make it. <laughs> Right. So I, I remember when Guitar Hero first came out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm that old. Um, and a lot of people got injuries, like repetitive strain in order from the doing of the fingers. Um, have you ever had any injuries while doing a speed run? I imagine um, motion sickness might be one of them. Oh, I've got vertigo. I've got vertigo now. Just from, just from oh, I know. There's falls. been a, a few times where we've been... I, I tend to say I've never had any injuries, really. I, there's been times where I've like played it for like five to six hours straight doing the exact same movements. And I can say it does get a bit painful. Yeah. And it gets to the point where you're in the middle of a run or you're in a decent run and you're trying to not fail. Um, you're trying to not, you're trying to like burn through the pain to get it done. Um, so that can be quite painful sometimes, but afterwards you're just like, yeah, no, that's, uh, that's enough for today. I'm, I'm heading off. I was about to say, how many Super Monkey Ball dreams do you guys have now on a regular basis? Because any speed running, imagine if you're just spending hours and yeah. hours and hours, this is literally all you can think about. So I imagine your dreams would be a very odd scenario I mean, of you running in a ball. I, to I surprisingly don't dream about this game. It's very peculiar. I would expect myself to dream about this game, um, but I, I, I tend not to, really. So. You're strong-willed. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we've got only a few stages left of the run now. Uh, I'm quite surprised of how quickly this has gone. Uh, World 10 is the hardest in the game, even though I might make it look a little bit easy. Um, these stages are designed to be difficult. They, there are some ridiculous poor strats. We don't do most of the really, really difficult stages due to the fact that we have faster ones to do. Um, but if you watch Super Monkey Ball 2, that's another glitch goal. That's two for two. Uh, if you watch Super Monkey Ball 2 and you watch the all levels category, when it comes to World 10, every stage has like three plus perfect frame pause buffer strat on it. It's ridiculous. Um, this is kind of a really interesting dynamic maze. So you're meant to go on the platform, and then it spins around. And you're meant to navigate it as, it as it rotates on a 360 degrees axis. Um, but instead, we're just going to hop over like that and into the goal. Of course you are, because who, who else wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. think <laughs> that that is the exact way you're supposed to do that level? That's Right, so seeing that cheating mo meme where you know you're not you're not, che you're che not cheating the game, you're cheating yourself. Yeah, it kind of feels like this, but also quite epic at the same time. Oh, okay, there we go. So we've got 10, 12, 10, 16, and 10, 
I didn't even now. notice we were on well ten. <laughs> <laughs> three stages I left. Clearly at this one point. Final, I'm final slacking. three stages. <laughs> So this, this one is quite evil because it involves steps in a game where you have no jumping ability. So doing that, it's, I, I don't want to say, it's not RNG because there's no RNG in this game, but it is very locked base if you get the correct collision to jump on. Um, why this stage is called Coffee Cup, I don't understand. Right. And it was over, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why it's called We'll move that. on. Yeah, right, here we go, on. last stage. Let's, I hope not to die. So stay, the time will start, stop when I hit the goal tape in now time. That's time for the, to the run. We oh, are 30 whoop. minutes and 38 seconds. That's not Woo! bad. For 10 worlds. 10, 10 worlds. 10 worlds. For a marathon minutes. run, that is not bad. That's 100 stages in 30, 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, uh, do I have time to show off a few little extra bits and bobs? I think we're actually out of time. We, we actually we out of time oh. wrapped it up nice and neatly. Um, but how about another round of applause for the amazing Reese? <laughs> Absolutely smashed it. Uh, Matt, remind us where your stand is again. UKSM, come check us out. We're right opposite the Retro Arcade. It's going to be a great time.